So good afternoon, everybody. I am currently here at the border of Romania and Ukraine, and over there is Ukraine. I did, decided not to uh, go into Ukraine uh, for the sole fact that um, I've got some uh, other engagements for today, but I just thought I'd let you all see what it looks like in Ukraine on the other side. As I was talking about earlier, I just thought I'd reflect on what's currently going on uh, in this part of the world. Uh, I've been to various meetings and also events in Washington, D.C., where I try to educate myself as much as I could possibly entertain regarding the current situation in this part of the world. It's extremely unfortunate, folks, that people are in this day and age, in the modern civilization around the world, um, are having to go through so much hardship. I'm not here to talk about politics. I'm not here to talk about who said fault, point fingers. Uh, a ser you know, I, that's not what humanity was. That's not what people should be worried about on how did it got to this point. Uh, what we need to figure out now is how do we provide assistance to those that have been affected by all of this um, human suffering because they're the ones, you know, most of the time the people that have had to deal with conflicts and, you know, the byproducts of these conflicts are, you know, the regular citizens, the regular people of a country. Um, and right behind me is Ukraine. You know, as I mentioned, uh, I'm not here to talk about politics. I'm here to talk about why uh, it, something like this, um, you know, if become the way it is today. Yes, we can point fingers. We can say we said fall. Uh, but we need to appreciate the suffering that people are having to deal with. Um, regardless what your personal values are, beliefs, political opinions, you know, the narrative that you tend to listen to, the fact of the matter is there are people that have been uprooted out of their houses. You know, there's refugees coming out of this country. Um, and trying to figure out how to survive. You know, uh, again, my name's Al Mina. I'm at the border of Romania and Ukraine, and I just wanted to share this story with you since, you know, I'm not a professional journalist. I'm not a, you know, I have got no, you know, horse in this race. I'm just here because I've seen the suffering that people have had to deal with, um, you know, I mean, think about it, folks. All this could have been, you know, avoided. Yeah, I think very few people even tried to stop and say, okay, how could things be different? I believe if we continue to, you know, point fingers, nothing's going to be done nothing's going to be resolved because you know a war doesn't happen on just one side you know people engage in war and people you know become you know war driven because of lack of communication diplomacy lack of brainstorming lack of compassion whatever you want to say um, you know hate and and you know historical you know problems with other people in other countries it's never been an answer you know it's today's the year 2023 I'm here on the 1st of January at the border and 
I'm just trying to, you know, put sense and make sense out of this whole situation. You know, um, I mean, today we're using social media to advocate for peace. In the past, there was no social media. There was no way for the world to learn about other people. There was nothing for humanity to utilize to avoid war, to avoid, you know, conflicts. In the year 2023, we have all this at our fingertips, you know. We have a way to communicate with the world. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a scholar. You don't have to be, you know, anybody that promotes some sort of, you know, experience. But you can be, you know, a simple person, a human, a human being, someone that actually wants peace to prevail and use social media, you know, and other means in today's world to utilize other platforms in this world, you know, to promote peace, diplomacy, and, you know, communication. So many lives have been lost, so many lives have been disrupted, so many problems have been created because of this war. And it's simply, you know, it's incomprehensible. You can't possibly, you know, justify a war in the year 2023. And this is an ongoing war. It's almost been a year. So I've decided to come up here because unfortunately the media and specifically media that profits from you know <laughs> conflicts war human suffering uh, are, are making things worse on top of that the political you know agendas of various people and countries and governments have exacerbated this whole situation I'm here just, you know, what you're looking at right now is Ukraine. That's, you know, on the other side of the Romanian border. And I'm here to just, you know, give you guys a sense of what's taking place in this part of the world. When I was in the U.S. Peace Corps, um, I didn't serve too far away from here, actually. You know, I was at a boarding um, uh, city and not once did I thought that a wall would break out in this part of the world. I know there's a lot of economic hardship here and that's why I'm trying to promote economic development in this part of the world uh, and so is other parts of the world that could use economic you know development support but never in my wildest dreams would I imagine that this part of the world would be engaged in a war. Okay, and I'm not here trying to, you know, demonize anyone. I'm not even here trying to, you know, give it a political spin. I'm here because people are dying. People are <laughs> being uprooted out of their homes. People are finding, you know, uh, other countries for refuge. And instead of, you know, the world helping Ukraine develop economically and any other countries to develop economically, now we're housing, we're, we're trying to provide relief, we're trying to justify, you know, taking sides. None of that would have been needed. It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be of value to us, you know, had we provided economic development support uh, you know, and being that as our, you know, guiding light um, in today's world, 
You know, like I said in my earlier blog, I believe this is an economic issue uh, because both countries, Ukraine and Russia, have been going through the pandemic and they've been up against the wall in finding a way to support their economy because of the pandemic and all sorts of market conditions. I believe that's what precipitated all this. Um, but again, I'm not taking sides. I, I understand that, you know, um, there's been a, a lot of, you know, speculations uh, about the war and people can come up with all sorts of speculations but that's not something that I believe would be of interest to anyone. So uh, with that said, my name is Al Mina. Thank you for your time. Thank you for letting me share this part of the world with you and letting us talk a little bit about the human suffering that is happening currently in Ukraine. And I believe this also happening in other parts of the world. But uh, with that said, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and family. If you have any uh, suggestions, comments and concerns, please also share that with us. Uh, and I hope that you have a wonderful 2023. And let's hope for the very best for everyone involved uh, in this part of the world. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.